Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Dinger and welcome back to Castle Story. And before we fully get into the series, before we fully get into the episode rather, I really do want to thank you all because I've been getting immense support and hints from all of you who have commented and I don't really know what else to say other than thank you very much. Like, I have not received this much credit well, not credit, hints and, like, help and support on any other series on this channel. So thank you. Thank you very much. As for right now, um, we're, I don't know what wave we're on. We have all of these individuals. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, oh yeah, I also, I got a, uh, a comment. Off. I'll quickly find out what their name is so I can give them full credit and I got another comment oops from someone else um, uh, I'm just gonna quickly check I have to turn my volume down so I don't have the woman thing playing back also eventually I will get into a situation where the previous video will have the comments like ready for the next video because it's happened a few times where, because of the because of how long it takes to like up render and upload, I'll have uh, the episode uploaded the day before I need to record another one. Right, Project Levi Delta said archers don't cause friendly fire to each other. He's had thirteen stacked up on top of a plat of a small platform and they didn't da damage each other. All some of them shot the crystal. So, seemingly, from my own personal experience mixed with what Project Levi Delta said, um, it seems like archers do not damage each other, however they damage everything else. Because I've, like, um, try to think of how to say this. Uh, to, to, put it based, to put it into perspective, I've had uh, archers who've been shooting over here before. And uh, like at enemies, and then I've ended up hitting trees and chopping them down with arrows. I'm not sure if that's incredible on the archer's part, or whether these are just really weak trees. I don't know. Mind you, giving this, given this. Oh my god. <laughs> also, I want to thank you all very, very much. I don't know if it's just from Castle Story, but I've just. I reached 50 subs earlier this week and I'm already at 59. That is phenomenal and ridiculous and thank you all so much. Like, you have no idea. Like, that is, in my opinion, ridiculous in the best of ways. Like, I could, I could not have asked for a better kind of experience. So thank you. I don't know why I put them up here when I want them down here. I'm silly. Right, these are all looking for blueprints. Um. Oh yeah, they still need to... Okay. There is a log in that tree. Right, Joe, why aren't you... Oh right, yeah, because that happens. Um. If someone could please contact the developers of Castle Story, I may do it myself, depends. Could someone please contact them and let them know that uh, there is a glitch with the lumbar task whereby it resets the size to the standard uh, radius every single time you load the game? Because that is getting annoying. And I mean, I'm not going to sit here and think, Oh yes, I'm the biggest Castle Story YouTuber ever. They'll clearly listen to me, because I mean, they won't. It's their game, and I mean, I have a few cool ideas, but I don't know whether they'd actually benefit the game or hinder it. That's the word I'm looking for, hinder. How many, why do I only have, I only have three people in the quarries. Joe, I'll tell you what, you're going to work in a quarry now. Because we could do with more stone. A lot more stone. Stone. Hmm. I've just thought I may put lights somewhere. I'm not sure what. I'll I'll put them. Can I put them on this? That's the question. Yes, I can. 
Alright, I'll put lights on here. It's, uh... Getting a bit cramped, but, uh, oh well. I'll... I'll put them a bit higher. So that they can still build it, but it's out the way, so it's not gonna block any of their... Kind of... Current positions. Um... And here they come. The first wave of the day. I'm gonna have to make these episodes shorter as well because it's taken me forever to kind of... Oh crap. Oh crap. Go! Go! Get them! I'm gonna want all these selected because I'm gonna have to make them run pretty soon. Just run. Just run. Just go. Run. Run, my children. Run. We do not want to lose another one of you to this tyrant. Just go. Right, you can head back now. You're safe. You're safe once more, my children. Um, Speaking of things, I just realized we need to build a bridge here. That we can then... um. Yeah, uh... Let me think about how I'm going to do this. Alright, we'll have it kind of basic in the way it's going to work. We'll have it there. We'll have logs there and there. We'll have them too high, so we'll have kind of it looks pretty at least. Plus, there's no reason not to because one log will get used for the space of two. Anyways, so we may as well go for kind of nicer design. Nicer design choice. Actually, it makes sense to kind of... Alright, um... I'm gonna have to do this, which is unfortunate, but oh well. No, I don't want- I don't want it there. No. You're gonna have to destroy that, which is unfortunate. Oh, how are you doing that? That's magic! Magic! I tells you magic. Right, quickly get that put across there. Because then we can also have a- uh, the knight guard the bridge. So people can still get across the bridge and get the wood and stuff to build if they need to, but they can also stop anything from getting across the bridge. So essentially what the moat is in place for is to stop like uh, corrupt- so it basically funnels the corruptrons because as far as I know the uh, the mechanic- the way the mechanics work in the game- oh dear, that's a problem. Yeah, but oh, it's okay, they can get over here, but they can't get over the bridge until there. But as far as I know, the way the mechanics work in this game is along the lines of they will take the shortest route, and the shortest route is essentially the one I'm currently making, which is that they have to kind of get to the bridge. I think. I don't know. Off the top of my heart. Off the top of my head, even. Not off the top of my heart. Alright, uh, we need to make another... There we go. I want to make it look pretty. You know, you got to make it look pretty. A, a, a bit, at least. Alright, what's he coming to do? I don't know what he's coming to do, but oh well. Oh, he's probably coming to destroy that, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he is. Alright, there we go. Right now we'll put down the lantern. We'll put down there uh, two, one there. Uh... There we go. That's a really nice looking bridge as well. I mean, it's very basic, but it still gets the point across. And uh, we'll put a line here of bear traps. Just in fact, we'll put T 
two lines because I don't know if they get stuck in them themselves. But we'll we'll get it put there because then uh, that guy can just shoot down and rain hell. And it's beneficial. I don't understand how this guy is carrying wood and stone. Presumably they've stopped construction up here temporarily as well. Which is... Eh, it's, it's, it's a very temporary problem, but oh well. You know. Got an itchy noggin. Right, what I'm going to do, I've decided, is I'm going to... Um, defend area. I'll set one of these down and I'll make it so they defend this area. Although, that, from my personal experience, that is a very bad idea because it results in a lot of people... Um, sort of... It can result in very big problems. Where the Corruptrons will just run straight past and be fine. And I just realised... Um, the quest my question is, yeah, that does get rid of the that does get rid of it. Okay, doesn't matter. I'm gonna ditch that whole idea because it's going to be more beneficial if I can move them without having to set it down every single time. Now the real question is, will they actually finish the construction of the bridge before the corruptrons arrive? I'm interested to see. So let's see, I suppose. Also, they've gotten the uh... Right, so we can't actually see much like the blueprints we can't actually see until uh, they've actually put something in it. So the guy was still working in the magic- there's still one guy in the magic mine, good. This is going to be interesting. I wonder what wave we're actually going to make it to. Because I think the last time I um, I made, I think the the furthest I've made it is wave thirty five or something. Along those lines, at least. Very spooky noise. I wonder why he's going all the way back there. Oh well. Right, come on, you can do it. Uh, where are you, where are you going? You just sort of left. Also, again, for keeping up appearances and uh, making it look cool, got to put that there and that there. And hopefully that'll work. It's surprising the it's, it's getting done very quickly in comparison to how long it would have taken. And then basically once we're finished the buildings and then we'll finish like the stairway up here. We can just Yeah, we can make a stairway up here, maybe and just have like kind of a wall that stops people from actually going across here. So basically any corruptrons up here can come down, they'll take this route and just get bombarded with arrows. Or we could have um, a tower here which has archers on it which bombard them with arrows if they're over here. I think we should only have two archers there because I don't want to put too many archers there if it turns out they stop coming up there for whatever reason. Because like, it's not very frequent that they are there so I want to kind of limit how much they will go in that particular area. Why would you jump up when you could just walk up the stairs and it's quicker? Oh, you're so close. You're so close and you've got less than a minute. You can do it. I believe in you. No, you're not going to do it. 
Oh, you're one away. No, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. You gotta do it. No. No, it can't be happening. I can't. Not like this. Oh, now they're basically finished anyways. Now I'm gonna need a lot more wood. Kinda wish I'd actually built this as the castle. Cause I can put towers and stuff on here. Oh well. Oh crap. They spawned a lot closer than I would have liked. Just go, just run. I've trapped you in a dead end. Go jump off. Whew, that was close, that was cutting it close. I'm probably just gonna cut to the next part because it, it'll be a lot quicker and it'll minimize the amount of kind of waiting I have to do. Right, here we are, let's go. Let's see. I've, I've basically just got them to pick up all the iron. Yeah, they can walk across the bear traps, no problem. Okay, good. Good to know. I've got the majority of the bear traps sort of sorted. Right, there we go. That's all, that's it, all of it. That's all of it. Right, let's see where are they. Also, I also set a uh, guy on a... What do you call it? I'm trying to think of how to describe it now. I set a guy on a cleanup task to get all this extra wood from here. And I also... Um, what's it? I'm trying to think what I... Oh yeah, that was an interesting thing. For some reason the quarry um, had also reset, much like the lumbering task. So I had to delete that and restart it. Which was unfortunate, but oh well. It's 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 going well now. That's, that is what is important, right? Come on. Presumably they started up here, and they're probably up here to be honest. And they're starting to make their way down there, so they're currently like here, probably. They're working their way down. I'll come into view any second, I'm sure. Shame the big one didn't fall down a random cabin again. Because that was very helpful. Kind of curious to see if that did happen or not, but... Oh well. This is starting to chug a bit on my computer. <laughs> just a tad, I think it's just because of all the, uh... All the particles. Where are they? Um, maybe they're launching a sneak attack. I swear there was nine there previously. Are they falling off a cliff? Are they being dumb? Who knows where they are. Alright, let's just go back and focus on this temporarily. I'm sure they'll eventually gain interest. We're almost finished the floor of this area, and then um, once we've finished everything else, I will move to set and make them start building the wall. Walls, anyways. Walls, plural. <coughs> Four more pieces. Five more pieces of concrete. <coughs> or stone, even, not concrete. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum dum dum. dum. I annoyingly haven't had any of my towers destroyed yet, and by annoyingly I mean it's a good thing that I haven't been, but I would like to actually see, like, a tower crumble by now. It's been so long since they spawned that they haven't, like, the music stopped. I just realised I'm gonna go have to hunt them. Because I do not want them joining in with the other 
corrupt drones. Unless it's because I've got so many brick drones on the map that the like I know there's AI limitations uh, at times. So perhaps because there's so many brick drones on the map, they ha don't have enough uh, like kind of power to do the corrupt drones as well. Oh wait, there they are. Run back, retreat, retreat, retreat to a safe distance. Run, my child, run! Run, my children. This is very anticlimactic without the music. I'm already halfway to another blimmin'. Right, at least they're shooting at them. He's not shooting at anything yet. Probably because he's not high enough up. Right, there's one small guy dead. I don't know why, it's incredibly satisfying for, for, to me to watch, like, just archers taking out things from a distance. Alright, the question is, no he doesn't have one in his hand. You are now going to run back here to a safe distance. So you don't- what are you doing over there? You coward. You're lucky I haven't st stomped you out of existence yet for your incompetence. I was going to say impotence, but I don't think that's the correct word I'm supposed to be using in that situation. Right, well I guess I'll come back once the uh, once they've actually once the next wave started because I don't, don't want to take up too much time uh, rendering. And uploading. Right, uh, the terror of uh, the kind of bored corrupt drones is going to happen pretty soon. So I'm um, quickly just going to finish this off. And presto, we have our building. It's a bit boring to look at, but oh well. I think I'm going to actually. Make it a bit more interesting by adding windows. Just for the sake of having windows, really. So why not? The question is, do I have to focus on a uh, defending? Probably not, to be perfectly frank. Right, we'll go with a... Uh, in fact, we'll just have windows across this entire back area. Because why not, really? Oh, they're arrived. There we go, windows, and everything's fine. Quickly, go, 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 go. You gotta do it. You gotta manage it, man. There are no small ones. There's just... There's two big ones and eight medium ones. Sounds like a good pizza party if ever I, saw, if ever I heard one. I like pizza. I'm sorry. Who doesn't like pizza, honestly, at this point? He was very close. Very close. I can admire the proximity. Right. Come on, you gotta you gotta save us. You you gotta you gotta save us, come on. We're we're relying on you. We're very dependent. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Horns down, focus fire, focus fire. <laughs> Run Get across the bridge, go, 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 go! <laughs> Will we actually have something destroyed? No, no, he's incompetent, doesn't know where he's going. Right, looks like I'm gonna end that episode off here. <clears throat> I just wanna say it again, a very big thank you for all the support you've been giving me. Um, I've gained, potentially, if, if I'm not mistaken, I've gained over 10 subscribers in the past week. Which, t 
to the majority of other channels wouldn't be big, but due to the size of this channel, that's pretty substantial, the amount of subs who've subscribed to this. And I just want to thank you um, very much. I've, um, it, it's sort of like... I've be I've always wanted to like entertain people and the fact that people are finding it worthwhile to subscribe and like essentially they find me entertaining to some extent is mind-boggling like it's it's a very good feeling and I just want to say thank you again um but anyways before I get all emotional I'd like to thank you for watching my name is Bean Sidinger. Leave a like if you are enjoying this series. Subscribe to become a true sir and keep keep up to date with everything that I post. Good day, and I'll see you next time.